So you probably thought the last video was the last of the season. However, you can't get rid of me that easily. The one thing to take note of and don't be alarmed by is this ugly thing I have growing right here. I'm trying to participate in the No Shave November or maybe the Movember thing, although I could never compete with Connor, so I'm not even going to try in that arena. But don't be alarmed by this ugliness going on right here. It's pretty much the reason why I don't and can't really grow any sort of facial hair. You guys know I talk a lot about the weather here, but the weather here in Iowa is just, it is absolutely a pain in the butt. The reason I say that is that I always have these plans for things and then right now it decided that it wants to feel like it's January outside and none of us are quite ready for that. certainly looks like grass roots to me all the way down at the bottom. Alright, so what we're going to do now is just take this jar, a mason jar here. So we'll fill this up with our soil samples, probably about halfway full. Then we'll fill up the rest of it with water, shake it up. Let it all settle for about a couple hours or so. And then just out of curiosity, this test will kind of give us an idea of the composition of our soil, how much clay is in there, how much sand, and all those things. So I pretty much know from looking at my soil that there's a pretty good amount of clay in there, but I haven't talked a whole lot about this either, but Iowa has very good soil and there's pretty much a reason why the whole state is covered with farm fields. So that's because our soil is very good for growing in general. So I'm just kind of curious to see the composition of the soil here and I thought it would be a little bit of a fun test to kind of get us going on focusing on the soil. Okay, so we've let a couple of hours pass now and let all of this thing settle and it's gonna be probably easiest to kind of analyze it a little bit with a flashlight, but from what I'm seeing, mine is exactly what I thought it was and it's mainly clay. There's a lot of clay in there. So what's gonna happen is this water is gonna filter down. All the heavy stuff should be at the top. All of the kind of silty stuff, which will be a little bit of a mixture of like a little heavier soil but then also kind of going towards the sandy part of soil. That should be in the middle part there and then at the bottom all your heavier particles, anything like your sand or if there's a little bit of gravel in there or something like that, that will settle all the way to the bottom. So I'll give you a couple close-ups here. Really that's what I found was most of mine is definitely looking very heavy on clay. I will link a website below on kind of the different soil types and the benefits, the disadvantages, all of those things. For clay soil, it's actually not so bad to have a clay soil. You hold a lot of the nutrients in and you can get a lot of moisture to hold in there as well. But at the same time, you're gonna have some problems with drainage. Clay soil tends to get very waterlogged very easily. So just something you kind of have to look at your different soil types learn the benefits of them and the disadvantages and then you can kind of plan for that accordingly because you can grow grass in any of these soil types some of them are easier than others but just kind of once you know what you have though it's much easier to plan for that. 